Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how you can take these flat illustrations and create that awesome 3D pancakes with wooden folk. And if you're interested how you can do it in Adobe Illustrator, then keep watching my tutorial. Now you see the size of my workspace and these are colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial. And if you want to download an original vector file with colors and my design, you can do it on my Patreon page. The link will be below that tutorial. And now let's start to draw. My workspace is ready and my colors are already in the swatches panel. Let's take that color and rectangle tool and let's create a rectangle with these options. Ok. Now move it here, take direct selection tool, select these two points and hold and drag them to round the corners. Now hold ALT and make the copy move down. Now take a liner gradient and here 90. Let's take this color and put it here, this one here. Now that one in the middle. And now we need this orange color and again this or orange color. Ok, let's move a little sliders like that. Now hold ALT and make one more copy. Put it like this. Now let's take that orange color and rectangle tool and create rectangle with that options. Ok. Now let's move here, it's the butter. Let's take direct selection tool and a little around all corners. Uh, now let's take that color or you can take any color, here is no matter what color it will be. And let's create the options like this. Move here. And again rectangle tool with the same color and create the rectangle with that options. Ok. Now move here, hold ALT and make the copy, move here. Now you can select both shapes and align them like that. Now hold, select that shape, hold ALT and make the copy, select all three shapes and align them as well. Ok. Now let's select all four shapes, Pathfinder and Unite. Take direct selection tool and round all corners like that. Now select only these two points and round them like this. Ok. And uh, the last shape. Let's take ellipse tool and create the ellipse with these options. Now move it here. Take direct selection tool, select that point and move it a little up. Like that. Now go to effect, distort and transform and free distort and move these points like that. Ok. Object, expand appearance. Now select that shape, go to effect, distort and transform, free distort and as well move the points like that. Ok. 
Okay, object expand appearance. Now let's move this, this shape a little up, select both shapes, go to Pathfinder Unite. Okay guys, our flat illustrations are ready. Now you need to take these illustrations, move them down, group them, it's very important to group them, and go to Windows, 3D and Add Materials. That option only in the last version of Adobe Illustrator. Okay. And now let's go with me step by step. There is no one rule to create 3D illustrations, so you need to uh, play with options till you'd like the result. So here you need to go with me step by step. If you want to create something you like, you need as I am play with options. Uh, because as I said already, there is no rules to create uh, 3D illustrations, so you need to play with options till you'd like the result, as I said. Now let's move on, let's take uh, the butter and go again to 3D and materials and play with options. Ok guys, the butter is ready, now let's uh, create the wooden fork. We need to go to objects, play here with options. Ok, now go to materials, select that material, uh, it's a basic material. And now go with me step by step and change options here. Like that. Ok, uh, my elements are ready, you can close the window with 3D and materials. Now take that color and rectangle tool and create the background. Now uh, right click and send it to back. And one more step guys, you see it's pretty pixelated, so go to effect, document, raster, effect settings and select high. And ok, it's pretty heavy effect, so you need to be patient. And now our wood looks more realistic, guys. And one more step, if you like, you can go to select the fork and go to window, 3D in materials and select here, inflate both sides. And then it will be looks more round, like this. Ok, uh, and now we need to select all elements without background and go to Object, Expand Appearance. And now let's make the elements a little bigger to create more interesting composition. 
Ok, now copy and paste the background, send it to front, select the whole design and right click and make clipping mask. Well guys, that's all for today, hope you like my tutorial, if yes, give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorial, see you in Adobe Illustrator or in the next videos about graphic design. Bye bye guys, bye!